What's up everybody? So this video, we are going to be taking a look at the worst rated Amazon dartboard. So the worst rated dartboard on the entire website of Amazon. But before we get into all of this stuff, if you're not subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. And you guys seem to like these Amazon videos. So if we set a like goal of this video on 300 likes, and I'll make another one doing another dart rated thing on Amazon. But anyway, let's have a look at the website. Let's see what people are saying about this board and let's see what it looks like on the website. So here we go, $22.99, bit expensive, bit expensive. For £22.99, you can get yourself a decent dartboard. You can get yourself a pretty decent dartboard. So it's only got five ratings actually, three, uh, three, three stars and two one stars. So let's Let's have a look at the customer reviews just to see what just to see what they're saying about it because you know you never know they 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 might they might not know what they're talking about. So Ian Adams purchase in the United Kingdom smaller than expected probably my own fault. Okay, it's about the third of the size of a standard dartboard and it comes with four yes four darts really. He wasn't happy with it. Alan, poor quality, not full size. Uh, this is not a full size dartboard. The material is very hard. You have to throw your darts hard to get them to stick in. Too many bounce outs. So we're going to be expecting a small dartboard and a hard dartboard. Gavin, well, I wonder what Gavin this was. He said, avoid. Darts do not stay on the board. Too hard, too small, too light, very poor quality. Avoid. So across the board, people aren't really excited about this board. They're not really happy with this board. So of course, me being the darts referee, me making silly videos about darts, I went ahead and I bought it. And I don't know if you guys are ready to see this, but here it is. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Let's get it open. It is horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's tiny as well. I'll give you like a, a good perspective on, on what sort of size it is compared to like my normal dartboard up there. So, the darts are like falling out. I just stabbed myself with one of the darts. Um, yeah, I can't imagine the darts themselves are very high quality. Uh, yeah, not really. I might make a video. Mm, no, I won't, because that thread is bloody huge. I was going to say I make, make a video using uh, these flights, but I'd have to use these darts as well. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe we'll make a video using, using them darts at some point. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I can hit a 180 with those darts. Probably not, but I can give it a try. So, four darts. Yeah, that's right. Four darts. I, I was expecting to find two more darts. I oh, know there's a dart down here as well. How many darts do we get? Five darts. Is there a, is there a sixth dart? There is another dart. Okay, so I'm not sure they got the memo that you play darts with, with, uh, with three darts in a set because we currently have uh, a set of two greens, two yellows, and two reds, which is a little bit odd, I must admit. I was expecting two sets of the same color, um, but okay, whatever. And then the dartboard itself. Oh my goodness. Oh look, it's got a little target on the back as well. How fa fancy is that? Awesome. It's got a little place to hang it up on, but yeah, the wires are literally as thick as my darts are. Not really, that was a lie. But the wires are very thick. The board is just hard. It is so hard. The, the bullseye looks like someone's hit it with a hammer. Uh, and there's, look at the size of that staple. The staple's bloody huge. So the numbers are in the correct order, which is which is good. Um, but other than that, this thing sucks. This cost me 23 quid. 23 pounds, 22.99, that is insane. Um, but yeah, let's chuck it on the, on the wall. I'll give you guys a little size comparison of what the board looks like in comparison to a regular size board. And then we'll throw some darts at it and we'll see what we can do. I'd like to be able to hit a 180 on this, but I've not played darts in weeks. And I probably couldn't. So we'll have to settle for a couple of tons or something maybe. But anyway, let's get the board up on the wall. Let's see it. just how crap this is. I'm not expecting this to be a good board at all. But let's try it out. Okay, here we go. So my darts aren't the sharpest darts. They could do with a bit of a sharpen. So I might have to swap darts to another set that I've got. But we'll give these a go anyway. And yeah, first three darts of the day. First three darts of a while, actually. Oh dear, that went high. Oh, it's gonna take a little bit to get my eye in. The board looks so weird because of how tiny it is. Um, but yeah, the holes aren't terrible, actually. The board kind of like, it heals up the holes a little bit. Yeah, don't expect anything good to be thrown out of this, out of this setup, but oh dear. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so shiny. It's literally so shiny though. That's the mental thing. Right, I'm gonna have a few darts of this. Um, we'll have a little practice. It just feels 
like so wrong. Just looking at it feels horrible. It doesn't feel like, I don't know, I don't have to explain it. I think the fact of the fact that it looks wrong is making me throw like really bad. Plus, oh, bounce out, first bounce out. That was a treble 20 wire as well. Not a great board. I'm gonna spend like 20 minutes chucking at this. If I, if I hit any decent scores, you'll see them. If it cuts to me and I'm sat down in a minute, then maybe I didn't hit any, any decent scores, but we have 20 minutes, we're gonna see what kind of damage 20 minutes does to this, this sort of dartboard. And yeah, anyway, this is not gonna be fun. Ooh, two balls and a 25, that's not bad. Eighty-three. Sixty. Okay, so it's probably been more like ten minutes than twenty minutes, but it's really odd because it's almost like because the treble twenty doesn't look like a treble twenty. Um, I feel like it's really hard to aim at. It's like all your muscle memory, all of the things that you've learned playing darts, has just kind of gone away. And I throw, oh, I'm not even close to it, but as soon as I go to the bullseye, which in my next three darts is gonna, gonna completely disprove my point, but let's try it anyway. As soon as I go for the bullseye, the bullseye looks like a regular bullseye. Like, I wasn't really close to it, but I hit two balls a minute ago with a, with a 25. But I feel like because it looks so much, because it looks so wrong, it's kind of, it's really hard to throw at the 20. But yeah, the board has taken a good little batter in there. You can see how few times I've hit the treble 20, probably only like 10 times. It's like darts like that. That was a bounce out on a wire. I, I don't know, I don't know why, but I, I just feel like because the board looks nothing like a normal board, it's really like messing with my eyes, and it's so shiny as well. The wires are literally so shiny. Let's see if we hit a ton. Oh, 100. But yeah, so this board, not great. Definitely would not advise that anyone spend 23 quid on this. This is not worth 23 quid. Whatsoever. Let's give it a spin around. Let's try the other side of the board and see if we can hit some of these these bullseyes. I have a couple of handfuls at this at this bullseye because maybe because this doesn't look like a dartboard, uh, it'll be easier for me to throw at them because it kind of only like slightly resembles a dartboard. So you, you should think I should be able to hit at least a nine every time, at least. But. Maybe not always. Three eights. Three eights. Right, let's throw three more at this. Oh, anyway guys, let me give you let me give you a little a little preview, not a preview, let me give you a little idea of what the board looks like now. Now that I've completely battered it to pieces. So I threw on it for about 10 minutes and you can tell that I did not throw well on it going by the fact that one of my highlight scores was a 60. So the treble is a little bit battered. Around the treble is a lot a bit battered because obviously I kind of suck, but it was weird. And I found that when I switched to the 19s, my muscle memory kicked in a lot more and I threw a lot of low, like I, I barely threw, I didn't throw a single treble 19. I threw one near it, but my muscle memory allowed me to throw like around here, which is sort of like where the treble 19 is on like the real board, like back there. So, yeah, it was a weird one, weird video. I do not advise that you buy this, this sucked, but I'd buy it so you don't have to. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it, let's get this to 300 likes and I'll do another Amazon. If you want to suggest Amazon products on, uh, for me to do videos on, Worst rated, best rated, cheapest, maybe even most expensive perhaps. 
uh, and then let me know in the comment section below, link them as well, and I'll go and check them out. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're brand new, uh, leave a like on it, leave, let me know in the comment section below what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video.